Hey guys, welcome back to Struggleville YouTube channel. For this video, I want to share with you an Amazon tool deal finding secret. Now it's the Amazon warehouse deals, but here's the thing. I created this page you're looking at on my website, which is linked down below a year or so ago. And it worked beautifully, but within the last couple of weeks, it hasn't worked because Amazon made a change. Don't know if it's intentional or what exactly was going on, but the Amazon warehouse deals, if you go to the homepage for Amazon warehouse deals and just look at the total number of listings, it comes up as 2,000 items. There's another way to look, which is the way I used when updating these links, that brings up 300,000 search results. So why is the homepage only showing 2,000? I have no idea, but I got several emails from people saying that these links on this page, which we'll talk about more here in a second, were not working correctly. The old method I used to create these links to all these different tool brands is searching off that list of 2,000. I have now updated it as of June 7th that it is searching the 300,000, so it's bringing a lot more search results, which overall is really good, but there is one downside. So really quick, if you don't know Amazon Warehouse Deals, it is Amazon themselves. It comes with the same warranty and return policy and all that stuff, but it's merchandise that was either a return or possibly got damaged in the warehouse as far as the packaging. Sometimes it's open box, sometimes it's missing a piece. And this little blurb here that I took a screenshot of shows you how you can find out what's wrong. So this was a rubber mallet and it said the original packaging would be damaged. Now there's some times where you might care about that. If it's like a electronic device and it is some way damaged, you might be worried that the actual item itself was also damaged. But when you're buying a hammer, who cares? What could possibly have happened to the hammer, you know? So it really matters what uh, kind of item, but it's all sold as you used and you can get some really big discounts. Sometimes it's only a dollar or two off. Sometimes you're paying like 10% of the retail price on an item. It's really hit and miss. So I created this list of a bunch of different tool brands. If you click on either of these, any of these, it'll open up a window showing you the Amazon warehouse deals for that specific brand. The only bad thing that I have no idea how to get around is the search results page does not show the prices. You have to click on the individual product to open up the product page and see what the Amazon warehouse deal price is. I don't know why that is. I can't figure out how to fix it. But it at least is showing all the different items. So Black & Decker, Bosch, Channel Lock, Chemical Guys, Craftsman, Crescent, DeWalt, Diablo, Dremel, Duratech, which used to be known as Gear Drive until Gear Wrench sued them, uh, Estwing, Fiskers, Freud, Gear Wrench, Gerber, Greenworks, Irwin, Klein Tools, Knipix, Leatherman, Lennox, Lexavon, Makita, Metaboo, and Metaboo HPT. They do show, I mean, they're two different things. They show uh, two different search results. Milescraft, Milwaukee, Rigid, Rockwell, Ryobi, Seda, Skill, Southwire, Stanley, Sonix, Tecton, Vaughn, or Vagon. Vigru, Wira, Weha, WorkPro, and Works. So if there's any that I missed, I turned comments on for this post. So you can leave a comment if you want. Another brand listed that's everything I could think of off the top of my head that is sold on Amazon and could possibly have a warehouse deal. I did leave the old links down below, below this red text here. These are all the old links that really aren't returning any results at all. I don't know what happened. I don't know why the change. I don't know if it's a temporary change, if they're just testing things because Amazon has a tendency to do that. So I didn't want to completely delete all of these links. And then a week from now, these ones up here don't work. And then these work again. So we have both options right now. These aren't working. But like I said, you can leave a comment down below if you want a different one added. There's some really good deals there. I don't normally make individual posts on the website for these because it's often limit one. Sometimes you'll have a, a limit of two, three, four, something like that. But they're very limited because, like I said, they're items that have been returned or items that have, um, have damaged packaging or whatever. Now, another thing I will say is about a week, two weeks after 
any type of holiday or major shopping season is a really good time to check this page. Like especially right after Christmas, the first two weeks of January, tons of stuff's getting returned and you're going to see a lot of this stuff. And the more it's flooded, the longer it takes for them to sell the stuff, the more they're going to drop the price. So you can get some really good deals at a time like that. So maybe you want to bookmark this page. Otherwise, you can always find it in the toolbar. Amazon Warehouse Tool Deals by Brand right here. You can find it anytime you want. Hopefully it works out for you guys. You can find some good deals from it. I also have the page for deals for specific vehicles. And uh, I've gotten emails that that one isn't working now either. So probably not today, but I'm going to fix that. This took like four hours to figure out. So I'm kind of burnt <laughs> on looking at this stuff and trying to... Uh, it's too much brain power for the day, okay? Way too much. More than I expected it to take to figure out a workaround to that. I'm hoping the, the specific vehicle one is similar and I can just follow the same path and adjust it for that. But that post is much more convoluted of finding what vehicle you have and entering it into Amazon and then changing the URL. And I could just imagine that that's going to be a bigger headache than this one. So at some point, I will get to fixing that page. And if people like this warehouse deal stuff, and I don't know who else is going to come up with ways around this like I did today. I mean, if it becomes pretty prevalent and it's all over the place, then I'm not going to take any additional time to it. But if it seems like no one else is posting anything about it, I can do something that expands it past just tools and into other categories, but I really don't want to. So hopefully someone else takes that ball and runs with it a little bit further. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give the video a like, subscribe for our subscriber. I'll see you guys next time.